Today I want to share with you a technology that makes me really happy that is called ARA2. It's an integration inside of different DAWs that allow you to integrate different plugins so they behave as part of the recording software. This technology, ARA2, is compatible with Studio One, Logic Pro, Cubase, Nuendo, Digital Performer, Reaper, and many more, but I'm going to use it with Pro Tools. I'm going to show you some of these great plugins that are already working with this technology. Some of them have a couple of bugs, but these tools are quite early in their development and integration with the ARA2. So we're going to check out Melodyne, RX, AutoLine, VocalLine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get cracking. So I have this vocal that I have basically recorded for this tutorial. The song is called Existential Emptiness and it's from my album Blue that you can find it below in the description of this video. There's no reason to be active If you are getting no reactive So I'm going to start by basically sending this to Melodyne. So what I have to do is right click on the clip and choose Melodyne edit. So basically Melodyne is a pitch correction software that can work very well with vocals but it also works with other instruments. You have different algorithms you can choose from. So we have melodic, we also have percussive and then you have like polyphonic. So the polyphonic is great and it's very useful for for instance an orchestra when a single player missed one of the notes and I actually made a video of how to correct those kind of situations. So it's very cool because it actually analyzed the track without me having to play the song. So now I'm going to do something basic. I'm going to just select all of the notes, pressing Command plus A. And now I'm going to go up here, click and hit pitch center almost all the way up. And that will take all the notes to the pitch center and then you can edit from there. To be active. If you are getting no reactive And now let's go even further. I can select one of my tools like pitch modulation tool and I can double click on all of the notes and go to the extreme and get all the notes completely flat. <laughs> and that sounds like this. If you are getting no reactive So if you like the kind of daft punk kind of sound this is actually very useful. Now imagine you don't want to have everything down here. So you can just click on the icon and this will allow you to have Melodyne on a single screen like a plugin. So once you're happy with the result, you can just click on Melodyne again and hit render. And that will allow you to use less process on your computer. It will actually render the audio and in case you need to go back, you can because you just have to click and hit edit and there you are and now if i'm happy with the results and i don't want to go back i just go to the track and hit none and now i'm going to press on commit and that is going to render the track and commit it to a new channel now our next tool is called vocal line that will allow me to align the lead vocal with the harmony so imagine you recorded a lead track with like four different backing vocals. Each one of them is going to be different, a little bit different in, in length. So what this allows you is to correct that length and have everything aligned in time. So let's first have a little listen to how both tracks sound together. Lead vocals and harmony. Now my existential emptiness won't let me see, won't let me live. My existential emptiness won't let me see, won't let me live. For instance, here, won't let me see. So there's a little time difference between both right there. So I have to select both clips and hitting the shift plus option keys. I'm just going to click on vocal line six pro. And it's very important that we have selected vocal line on both tracks. So in this case, our guide track is going to be a lead vocal. So I'm just going to hit capture. And now I'm going to select the background vocal. It's going to be our dub. So we're just going to capture it there. But first we can select a preset. We have slightly loose timing, 
for instance, um, we can choose different ones that align timing and pitch. I can select high pitch dub, tight timing. Let's choose that one second and see how it works. And now let's hit and let's have a little listen. Now my existential emptiness won't let me see, won't let me live. Now, if we didn't like that, we can select another one. My existential emptiness won't let me see. And now we can see that it actually corrected the difference in time. And now it's sounding much tighter. Have a listen. My Sounds great. If I just deactivate this by bypassing it and let's have a listen. My my existential Incredible. So now we're just going to render this by clicking on the track and selecting none and commit. So now we have a new track with this already edited. And now we have a really good one, auto align. This software allows you to do phase correction. So for instance, when we record drums, we have different microphones and the signal is arriving at different times to every single microphone. So it's going to be a phase misalignment. So most ways we work through this kind of problems is just flipping the polarity of the track. But this is only 180 degrees, but AutoLine allows you to do it by samples. So it's very precise. So you just select all the different tracks all at the same time, right click and select Auto Align to edit. And now it's going to open the software and we can choose to open it up there. Or we can see it down here. And now we're going to click on Align and only in a couple of seconds, it's going to align everything. And we can see over here how, how it's corrected everything. Like for instance, we have the spectral and then we have the time managed by samples and you can actually make changes to it. So let's have a little listen. Before. So let me know below in a comment, which one do you prefer aligned or unaligned? You can choose whatever you want and make changes. It's really easy to use really fast. It's amazing how good it works. If you like a setting, you can copy it and paste it to another of the letters available below. So you can make changes and you can switch between one and the other and audition which one you prefer. This software is very used for post-production because it allows you to align two different lapel mics with different movement and different face cohesion. So that's available in auto line post. You should check it out. So let's commit this. And now let's go and check out RX by Isotope. So we right click on a clip, open up RX spectral editor, click on edit. And now it's going to show us the different tools that are available for Aura 2. So let's change the screen settings so we are more comfortable and we can occupy the whole screen. If we go from left to right, we are moving in time. And if we go bottom to top, we are going through frequencies. Up here, we can choose different modules. And up here, we can choose different tools. And finally, we have the different adjustments we can make for each different module. So our first tool is time selection. We can choose whatever time we want, but we are going to be selecting all of the frequencies at the same time. We can choose also different time selections. Uh, it doesn't have to be the whole clip. The next tool is time and frequency selection. So that means I can leave some frequencies out. With shift, we can choose different parts of our audio. And then lastly, we have our tool for frequencies, which will allow us to choose certain frequencies, but they last for the whole clip. So those are the main tools you get, but then you have, for instance, lasso. We can draw whatever we want on top of the spectral editor. 
Then we have our brush that, in difference to the one before, it allows us to paint a section. Finally, we get the magic wand up here. That is another type of tool. Okay, so let's now choose a different module. So the first module will allow us to attenuate, whilst the second module will allow us to replace. Let's start with attenuate. So what this does is that it if we select a section, it will work inside of that. But if we select replace, it's going to be working with things outside. So for certain stuff, we're going to be more inclined to using the attenuator and in other situations, the replace tool. So if we select gain, now we can select a portion, our spectral editor, and it's very simple. We can just change the gain of that section we have selected. So now let's go to another module called D-Click, and this will allow us to choose different algorithms. And basically what this does is take away different periodic clicks, random clicks, and other styles of... Finally, we have our last module called D-Hum, and that will take away the electrical noise from our signal, and it depends on the country you live in, it's going to be different. So Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what other plugins are missing from this kind of integration. Personally, I would love for Trigger of Slate Digital and Sood 2 to be integrated into ARA 2. Don't forget to subscribe and I invite you to carry on with any of these videos on screen. Bye bye.